What's up guys, Parker Talks is back. We are continuing our Jurassic Park and World franchises for this week and today we are going to be discussing the final battles and ranking those final battles from the worst to the best. Let's go. Coming in at number 5 we had Jurassic World The Fallen Kingdom. Being in theaters for this film I was a little disappointed by this final battle even though it had everything that I thought could occur to make this a really good final battle. You have the Endoraptor going up against Blue the Velociraptor and you also have Owen trying to save the girl in this scene. It just didn't work for me though as you have this Endoraptor which I said earlier in a prior video that it just felt kind of nerfed and it felt like it could have been stronger than what they say in the film of how strong it really is. It just doesn't show when you have these final battles or these chase scenes in this movie. And then you kind of see the death scene coming up. You know it's going to happen and how it's going to happen. And I think that's another reason why I just didn't like this final battle. It was just kind of bland for me. So that's why it comes in at number five. Coming in at number four, we have Jurassic Park, The Lost World. Now, from here, I would say every final battle that I'm talking about is a positive rating. This one is one you haven't seen before. You, you have this T-Rex breaking out of this ship and rampaging all over the city of San Diego as it's just crushing stuff and just causing havoc and all that while Ian Malcolm and his wife are trying to fix things by rescuing this baby T-Rex and trying to bring it back to its mom by bringing it back to the ship so they can contain it. And it's just a cool little sequence, this whole final battle. It's pretty funny. And yeah, it's, it's a solid final battle. I don't have much else to say about it. Coming in at number three, we have Jurassic Park 3. Now, this is a cool different sequence as a final battle as well, as we have this main crew on a ship trying to escape the island, and the Spinosaurus that just seems to never come get away, and it attacks them in the water. Now, what the funny thing is in the scene is that Alan Grant is trying to call his wife to tell them what's happening, and his son picks up the phone, and he's not really listening, and he's just walking around the house, and so you cut back and forth between him just calm, walking around the house, everything's fine, to just chaos, like the ship is getting turned over, they're in this cage, and they get put into the water, and there's like parts where they have to escape the water and all that. And then you go back to the kid who's watching Barney. So <laughs> it's a pretty cool sequence right there, and you have a cool ending in that in that scene as well as you try to defeat the Spinosaurus. And yeah, it's a very solid final battle. At number two, we have Jurassic Park, the original film that has probably the most iconic scenes in the final battle of all these final battles, but it comes in at number two. Now, there are so many great sequences in this battle. First, you have Alan Grant and the kids trying to get over this electric fence, basically. And that's it's a really cool scene. And then you have these Velociraptors that have been chasing these guys the whole time and you have the incredible kitchen scene with those velociraptors and the kids trying to escape and then you have once the whole family gets together or the whole crew gets together these velociraptors are still going after them they're trying to lock the doors on these velociraptors trying to trying to open doors to other uh, rooms as they're trying to get on this computer and try to get away from these velociraptors and you finally get to this part where it seems like there's no hope and they're in the main atrium and I think you all all you guys know what happens in this giant T-Rex that we have seen earlier in the film comes out of nowhere and tries to finish those Velociraptors off. It's a very cool sequence. It basically is like the last few minutes of the film because after that they kind of like escaping the island like yeah I'm, we're done with this we're not we're not wanting to be chased by dinosaurs anymore it's a, it's an amazing sequence as a final battle uh it's definitely really up there and in many eyes as the number one but coming in at number one for me is jurassic world now if you are like me and you just like dinosaurs duking it out this is the final battle for you as you have the indominus rex about to eat these people, our main characters, Owen and Claire and the kids, and these Velociraptors that Owen used to be training were back on the side of the Indominus Rex. He finally wins them over and they start attacking this Indominus Rex. And when all gets lost, then this T-Rex comes in to try to finish him off as well. So then you had this T-Rex and Blue the Velociraptor, the main lead of the Velociraptors, going up against the Indominus Rex 
And this Indominus Rex is probably the strongest dinosaur we've seen in all of these films. So that he almost beats both of these. But then finally, out of nowhere, we have one more dinosaur that tries to finish him off. I'm not going to uh, give it out right now because I don't want to spoil it. But it's a great sequence. Compared to the final, uh, the, uh, the last Fallen Kingdom film, you know what the death, the death scene is going to happen. This one, you don't know how it's going to happen. And it kind of like comes out of nowhere. So that's what I also really like about this final battle as well. So all of these final battles are pretty cool in their own way. But that's why I have Jurassic World, its final battle, at number one. If you enjoy my rankings on these movies, as I hope to do other movie franchises in the future, comment down below and click the like button down below as well. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.